Direct News TV. June 6, 2024. Up to 100 killed in RSF attack on Sudan village, activists. An attack by the paramilitary Rapid Support Forces, RSF, on a village in central Sudan has killed up to 100 people, according to local pro-democracy activists. The Wad Madani Resistance Committees reported on social media late on Wednesday that the RSF, which has been at war with the regular army for more than a year, attacked the village of Wad al Nura in Gazira state in two waves, deploying heavy artillery. The committees shared photos of dozens of bodies wrapped for burial in what they described as a mass grave in the public square, claiming that the Sudanese army had not heeded a request for help. It said it was waiting for a confirmed toll of the dead and injured. It was not possible to immediately verify the report. The RSF has repeatedly laid siege to and attacked entire villages across Sudan, particularly in the agricultural state of Gazira, where it took control of the capital Wadmadani in December. In a statement on Wednesday, the group said it had attacked army and allied militia bases around Wad al Nura but did not acknowledge any civilian casualties. But the Wad Madani resistance committees accused it of deadly attacks on civilians, looting and driving women and children to seek refuge in the nearby town of Manajal. The army aligned Transitional Sovereign Council condemned the reported attack. These are criminal acts that reflect the systematic behavior of these militias in targeting civilians, it said in a statement. Time running out. Sudan's civil war erupted in April 2023 when a rivalry between Sudan's army chief, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and his deputy and RSF commander Mohamed Hamdan Hemeti Dagalo exploded into an all-out conflict. While much of the early fighting took place around the capital, Khartoum, it quickly spread to other parts of Sudan, including the southwestern state of Darfur where it quickly took an inter-ethnic dimension as old rivalries linked to a previous war that began in 2003 resurfaced. The RSF emerged out of what rebel groups call the Janjaid, an Arab force which killed thousands of non-Arabs in Darfur during a war that ended with a peace deal in 2020. The war over the past 14 months has killed tens of thousands of people, destroyed infrastructure, and crippled Sudan's economy. Some 8.3 million people have been displaced, with many forced into neighboring Chad and South Sudan, while hunger and starvation are spreading. Time is running out for millions of people in Sudan who are at imminent risk of famine, displaced from their lands, living under bombardments, and cut off from humanitarian assistance, United Nations agencies warned in a joint statement last week. The RSF has taken over most of western Sudan and is now seeking to advance into the center of the country. Meanwhile, there has been renewed fighting between the army and the western city of El Fashir, with both sides using heavy weapons and artillery. Claire Nicolay, head of emergency response in Sudan for Doctors Without Borders, said the conflict is having a catastrophic effect on the population. If the situation continues like this, there will be really a very high mortality, that is for sure, she told Al Jazeera. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.